or the pictographs with a bunch of swear words were put on it, or a bunch of racist comments towards native people, towards Indian people, towards the reserves, were actually put right on the pictograph. You know, they're very important uh, heritage value, spiritual value, and, and the symbolism is up there as high as you can get towards First Nations people. <laughs> Struck a Vernon neighborhood last night, tagging numerous vehicles and properties with spray paint. The tagger sprayed profanities onto vehicles, fences, schools, and hotel room windows, which contained terms like the N-word and the F-word. The racial slurs have an even more poignant meaning considering the racial tension. My husband just rolled down his window and said salam alaikum to him, and he said salam alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. The Arabic greeting means peace be upon you. It was likely the last words they spoke. Moments later, police say this pickup truck sped towards the family, jumped the curb, and plowed. The police say it was premeditated and an act of hate. Our world and society evolve. We must learn from our mistakes and do better. The world needs you. I don't see color. This denies my experience with racism because of my skin color. Why overreact? It's just words and differences of opinion. The world is motivated. There is pain when I speak to my child about safety for fear of violence because of her face, appearance, or accent. It's just a few bad apples. I will spend years proving that I am enough, that I am excellent, including to myself. Yes. Racism doesn't exist, it's just that one incident. Privilege can blind you. What you have seen once, I live it every day. When I raise my voice in protest, I am called... Coconut. Banana. Troublemaker. Because I do not fit the stereotype of submissive Asian. I am told you don't understand the Canadian way. I'm told you're being too sensitive. I didn't mean it that way. I know that when I share my experience, it's not easy. I risk ridicule, job security, and reliving my trauma. I don't need to be saved. I need you to hear me, stand with me, but know that I may not share my trauma with you or be your teacher. Hate is painful, triggering, and I am exhausted. But we are fortunate today to have many resources and tools at our fingertips to learn and to grow. do better, to choose words that uplift, rather than divide and tear down. I am a woman of color, in a leadership position, in a privileged position, because of the work of generations before me. I raise my voice for those who cannot. I raise my voice for the inclusion and equity of the generations following me. I choose not to be anonymous. I choose a community of mutual respect.